Hey guys, welcome to this video on the methods of direct proof. So here in the purple, we have our problem. It states proof the product of two rational numbers is a rational number. So that's what we want to uh, figure out here. And in the orange rectangle, I have the definition of what it means for a number to be a rational number. So here we have the definition. It says a number that we're going to call x is a rational number if and only if x is equal to q subscript 1 divided by q subscript 2. So that's a q and not a 9, just so you guys know. All right, so this is where q1 and q2 are both integers and where q2 does not equal 0. So of course I'm saying q1 and q2, that's q subscript 1 and q subscript 2. So I'm probably going to use them interchangeably um, throughout this proof. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start on our proof. And what we're going to do here is we're going to assume that the real numbers, so I'm going to say assume the real numbers that we're going to call x and y are rational numbers. Okay. All right. And so now we want to show that this is um, true. So we're going to let x equal q1 divided by q2, where q1 and I guess I'll just write out and q2 are integers and q2 does not equal 0 okay we can't divide by 0 and then we're going to let y equal q subscript 3 divided by q subscript um, 4 where q3 and Q4 are integers and Q4 does not equal 0. Okay, again, we cannot divide by 0. So we have the product of x and y, that's x times y, and that means that this is equal to Q1 over Q2 times Q3 over Q. Four, and this is equal to q1 um, times q3 so just another way of writing it and then q2 times q4 okay and now we can say q1 times q3 is equal to uh, some other integer value we're going to call it q5 and we know it's an integer value because q1 and q3 we stated are integers Okay, and so Q2 and Q4, uh, Q2 times Q4 will equal some other integer value that we're going to call Q6. And we know that this is an integer value because we said that Q2 and Q4 are integers. All right, and specifically, we know that uh, Q6 does not equal 0 because Q2 and Q4 do not equal 0. So, this right here is where Q5 and Q6 are integers and Q6 does not equal 0. Okay? So, this implies that x times y is a rational number because we have the exact same definition of what it meant for a number to be uh, rational. So this here is the exact same definition that we have up here just uh, replace the 5 for 1 and the 6 
for two and we'll have the same uh, definition. So having shown this, again, we conclude that the real number x times y is a rational number. And that's basically it for our proof, guys. So thank you for watching. Uh, please leave any questions you have in the comments section below. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button if you like the video. And don't forget to hit the like button if you didn't like the video. Um, please subscribe for more videos as well. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.